Well, hello, friends. Welcome to another program of Today with Ward. Thank you for watching. On the program today, I'm going to introduce you to a very special friend, a man that I've known for probably 20 years, a man that is doing a great work for the kingdom of God around the world, Pastor Buford Lipscomb. I know you'll love him. He's going to minister to you. We, are, we just prayed. We asked Holy Spirit, you know what? Not our words, but your words. We want to minister to your people. So we want to bless you today. Thank you for watching. We believe God's going to richly bless you and do something special in your life today. Before I introduce you to Pastor Buford, I want to tell you about another dear friend of God TV. His name is Jerome Fernando, Pastor Jerome, all the way in Sri Lanka. So if you're watching Pastor Jerome, we greet you in Jesus' name. We love you. We bless you. And we're so excited about your new TV program that is going to be airing on God TV. TV. Take a look at this and we'll be right back. This kind of supply cannot come from man. This kind of supply has to be the hand of God. Father, let them see that anointing of supply in their lives. I pray in the name of Jesus. I want more of the Spirit. I want more of the Spirit in my life. When you are like that, my goodness, that is a fantastic attitude to have. When the favor of God is on you, when the hand of God is on your life, when, the, when Christ and the Holy Spirit dwells in you, you can hold on. I pray for victory in every one of your lives. In your valley, there shall be victories. That was the promo for Deeper Waters with Pastor Jerome. We pray it richly bless you. It comes on 9.30 on Saturdays, 9.30 in the mornings on Saturday. So don't, don't miss it. Make sure and tune in every Saturday at 9.30 to hear our Pastor Jerome. In a moment, you're going to hear from another pastor, leader in the Gulf Coast of America, Pastor Buford Lipscomb. And He's going to come and share with you and talk with me a little bit. And we really believe God's going to do something special in your life today. You know, the question I always ask myself, why do we do the things that we do? God spoke to me one day as I was driving in my car and he reminded me, he said, son, you just tell all of your employees to say, yes, sir. Every morning, wake up and say, yes, sir. What was it, sir? Souls, Israel, and revival. Those are the three things. That's what we do every day. Those, those are the three pillars of God TV. And when we say souls, we're talking about the gospel of Jesus Christ, taking it to the ends of the earth, taking it to the remotest village in Pakistan where believing in Jesus Christ will cost you your life, where going to church will cause you to be kicked out of your, of your home. And we have testimonies from around the world of people that say to us, God TV is all I have. Thank you so much. It's because of changed lives, friends, that we do what we do. Take a look at this. I know it will inspire you. And then I'm going to introduce you to my friend, Buford Lipscomb. Our passion is connecting people to the gospel through media. I was searching for the real love, satisfaction, and the truth. And on my search, I wasn't happy, and I became more and more depressed. My mom, she was pretty much stuck in a room for most of the time. My daily life consisted of um, taking pain pills, numbing out, and fighting off the voices. I thought everything stopped if you killed yourself, so that's what I was going to do. For over two decades, God TV has committed to bringing the transforming message of Jesus into homes across the world, providing hope in the most desperate of situations. I decided I wanted to commit suicide. As I sat in darkness, deciding how to do it, a voice spoke to me and it said, why don't you watch God TV? Everything in this book is for you. And even more. You've got to have it. You've got to experience it. I was just changing through the channels when I came across this uh, God TV. That is when I decided to uh, give my heart to Jesus. God 
is reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting people's trespasses against them. And he has committed to us the message of reconciliation. I felt on my knees because the presence of God was so strong. God TV appeared on her on her TV and she watched it and I didn't know at the time but she got saved that night. As I sat in the darkness and listened about who God was, he, he came in the room and I met him. I met my creator. Partner with God TV and see lives changed to the outer ends of the earth. Well, praise God, I hope you were inspired by those testimonies like I always am. I never, ever get tired of, of hearing a testimony of what God has done. Not just through God TV, but just what God has done. Amen. Praise God. Pastor Buford, I'm so privileged to have you here today. Thank you. We want to minister to our viewers, but before that, I just, I want you to take a moment just to um, introduce yourself. I know you're the pastor of Liberty Church. That's where I met you probably 20 years probably ago. Probably so. I know that you are also the president of Liberty, Liberty Network International, is mm -hmm. it? It's a global ministry. And uh, I know you have so many hats. I don't know how you look so young and stay so, <laughs> so good looking. <laughs> so welcome to God TV. Well, it's awesome to be here, Ward. And it's just a thrill to see what God's doing with God TV and you these days. And uh, just a real honor to be here and be a part of these programs with you, brother. Really Let is. me tell you, I got this testimony all the way from Australia. Oh. And it's amazing. That's what the power of media, yeah, you know? So we call our partners media missionaries. They join with us. Cool. They can't go to Australia, yeah. but together yeah. we send the signal. Sure. We send the message. Here's a testimony from Australia. And this man wrote to tell of his wife, Lily. And he said, one morning a while ago, we were watching God TV and Nathan Morris was ministering on healing. And he asked us to put our hands on the TV if you have a heart problem. I mean, it sounds silly. The average person hearing that, put my hand on the TV, what's that all about? Well, there's no magic in the TV. There's no power in the TV. It's symbolic. You know, it's, sure. it's a step of faith. Yeah. He said, put your hand on the TV if you have a heart problem. And his wife did it because she had congestive heart failure. A mm. week later, she went to the doctor, had tests, had everything checked. And he said, what did you do? Wow. Praise so, God. What happened? Wow. <laughs> everything is 100%. Wow. Wow. Isn't that amazing? That's amazing. All the way in Australia. Yeah, all the way in Australia. Wow. From, from a <laughs> message that was recorded in America mm -hmm. that was broadcast through satellites to the wow. world. Wow. Wow. And that's what we're doing today, and that's why I'm so happy that yeah. you're here with us. So. Well, the media is, and the, the, the TV, the monitor, is the communication piece of our time. Yeah. And it's the means, I believe, we're going to take the gospel of the kingdom throughout the nations and be a part of bringing Jesus back one day. Yeah, and you know, great things are happening around the globe. Yeah. You know, I just met you in, in uh, Israel by right. chance. I didn't even right. know you were going to be there, but we were all there. And um, God's doing great work. And I just want you to take a moment to encourage our viewers just to let them know what you are doing with your group around the world to encourage them that the kingdom of God yeah. is forcefully advancing. Yeah. Well, it's exciting today. To, there's just a real shift taking place that it's, it's, it is more about advancing the kingdom of God. It's about building His kingdom than building a church somewhere. The church is the means to extending His kingdom. And it's happening whatever country you go to. God is moving in just uh, amazing ways. Um, I've been a pastor for almost, uh, well, 30, uh, 35 years now and have worked around the world with our different missions and ministries. I've been the pastor at Liberty Church here in Pensacola for 27 years and had the, the uh, privilege of hosting BRSM and mm -hmm. being a part of the Browns Revival back in those years, which is a great thing. And uh, and I, I pastor pastors and I pastor a lot of international pastors and travel around and uh, uh, we have uh, Li Liberty Bible College was there for 25 years. So we raised up a lot of pastors, mm -hmm. a lot of missionaries, uh, many of them still out there 30, 35 years. So uh, I travel, pastor them, help strategize 
with what God's doing today. We have a, a group of ministries called Liberty Go, Liberty Global Outreach, and uh, they're sons and daughters of mine in uh, really uh, many parts of the world across the Is that the different to Globe? That's different than Globe. Okay, so we, it's a sending agency? Yes, it is. Okay. It is. We work alongside Globe, okay. and uh, these are just uh, about five ministries that have grown through the years are all spiritual sons and daughters of mine, and yeah. we're, of course, a major part of Globe as well. So, I mean, you know, I believe there's somebody watching. I, I feel somebody's watching right now. They want to get plugged in. They want to get involved. They don't know how to do it. But the fact that you are a pastor to pastors, mm -hmm. um, we really need to pray for our pastors. Yes. The devil is really, there's an onslaught Absolutely. against our pastors. Yes. They are, they're dropping like flies. Yes, they are. And we yeah. need our people to pray for them. And yeah. Just talk to our viewers a minute. Just explain some yeah. of the pitfalls, some of the hellish attacks that, yeah. that pastors go through. Well, because everybody's quick to criticize. Absolutely. <laughs> we have such great men out there today, Ward, that are pastoring, that are really doing it because they love God and God's people. Mm -hmm. But the culture today, not just in the U.S., but around the world is, uh, I say, if we don't disciple believers in the church and through the church today, the culture will. And the culture is making stronger, uh, it seems like, uh, sometimes disciples of this world than we are. Mm -hmm. But the pressures uh, of the culture and the demands upon our pastors are incredible. Uh, just the, the cost of things, the economy has escalated really around the world. Uh, I was just with a group in, in Kathmandu, Nepal, and mm -hmm. uh, 15 years ago, we supported a pastor, his family for Bible college for $35 a month, food, tuition, everything. Now it's 3000 you know, it's gone up, but uh, just the escalating economy uh, in, in a lot of these emerging nations are, is a big part internationally. But the pressures upon our American pastors, the demands, uh, it's easy for them to compare themselves with the great uh, communicators on television and in the media today mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. just not be who God's called them to be. I'm yeah. always encouraging them, be who God has called you to be, do what He's called you to do, and trust Him with all of that. Uh, but uh, pray for your pastor. I would encourage you to pray for your pastor, believe in your pastor, and, and be a servant there in the church. But be a I really servant. believe Amen. it's so important, Lord. It's just I, so important. Listen, God TV is a firm believer of the local church. Yeah. We tell all of our viewers, you know that. I tell you all the time, you need to be plugged into yeah. a local church. I understand, friend, that there may be some of you, I know, matter of fact, there are many of you, you can't find a church. Some of you, there's no church. Mm -hmm. There's none. Right. I understand that. And that's why we're here to disciple you as well through programming. But for those of you that have churches all around your city, find a Bible-believing, full gospel, spirit-filled yes. church that will yes. teach you the whole yeah. gospel yeah. of yeah. Jesus Christ. You yeah. need to be plugged in. I am plugged in, friends. I mm -hmm. have a pastor. I, mm -hmm. I just spoke with him on Sunday, and he asked me to do something for him that was very inconvenient. <laughs> it was very inconvenient. But when he asked me, I have no sure, choice. I sure. said, yes, sir. Yes, yeah. <laughs> so. And uh, uh, pastors are, are, are important in all of our, all of us need to be under someone. Paul said, I'm a man in authority because I'm a man under authority. That's good. That's good. And, uh, uh, but it needs to be loving men who really, uh, they're about God and not in his kingdom and not building a man's kingdom, but we have some excellent pastors out there. Our pastors kind of get a, a, a bad charge sometimes, they do, man. you know. Pray for your pastor friend and look for a church, and don't be a submarine Christian. Do you know what a submarine Christian is? That's the person that lives like hell during the week and surfaces on a Sunday. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> or don't be a consumer Christian, one that likes to shop around. You know? Yeah, that's right. They don't, that's like right. The, they don't like the food today. They go there tomorrow. They come yeah. back here next week. They don't like the guest speaker. You know, they're always... Absolutely. We call them consumer Christians. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, and God's working today, Ward. I mean, everything that can be shaken is being shaken amen. out there. That's a fact. So that that, that cannot be shaken or shall I mean, remain. judgment begins in the house. And Absolutely. And if it's not truth and it's not real, if it's not by the Spirit, it needs to shake off, <laughs> you know. So God's, God's, God's bringing judgment today Amen. is Amen. a part of Amen. it. Friends, God's doing great things around the world. I want to encourage you today as we travel, you know, we have, um, we have reports from every continent how God is working. The kingdom of God is forcefully advancing, yes. friends. Amen. We really believe at the end is soon. And if you're a skeptic, 
you have to accept it sooner than it was last time. That's right. That's right. <laughs> we believe that the end is near, friends. God is doing a mighty work, and we are praying for revival to come across this nation. And we're praying that God would use God TV mm -hmm. as an instrument in His hand Amen. to advance the kingdom and to spread the gospel message of Jesus Christ. And I want to invite you to help us. I would like to ask you to join us, become a media missionary with us. Help us take this gospel message to the ends of the earth. Many of the programmers that you see on God TV, they actually pay to be on the air, and then there are others that can't afford it, and your gifts pay for that. Your gifts helped to take care of orphans in Israel and help the underprivileged children and to build playgrounds and to be involved with our friend in Texas who is is rescuing girls from sex trafficking. and So much God TV does with your gifts. And if you are not a partner with us as yet and you'd like to join us, here's a short clip on how you could become a partner with us here at God TV. Take a look at this, and I'll be back with Pastor Buford. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Every day, the gospel is being shared with millions across the world breaking down dividing barriers and uniting people together in common purpose. In a world filled with uncertainty, war, famine, and political unrest, sharing the truth is more important than ever. Let the whole world hear it! Jesus say! Become a partner today and see God's truth continue to reach living rooms and lives across the globe. Go to www.god.tv slash donate or call the number on your screen today. Welcome back, friends. Pastor Buford, you mentioned just before the break about servanthood, that we're called to be servants. You know, the kingdom of God and the kingdom of man are at conflict. Direct opposite. Very opposite. Mm -hmm. The kingdom of God says to be a servant. The kingdom mm -hmm. of man says to be served. That's right. The kingdom of man wants to sit in the front row. Mm -hmm. The kingdom of man wants to get to the top. But the kingdom of God says, let God do your promoting Absolutely. for you. Absolutely. Jesus said, the greatest one of you will be the servant of all, you know. So from the time we, are, we are come out of our mother's womb, this kingdom of self yeah. is activated. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, about. it's always about um, self. But, but you, you know, you mentioned about submission. Mm -hmm. You mentioned about servant. Talk about that a little bit because I believe our viewers need to hear that. Yeah, I, mean, I think you're hitting it right on the headboard that, that we're living in a time of clash of kingdoms, mm -hmm. the kingdom of self, the kingdom against the kingdom of God. And everything in the kingdom of this world says, serve me. It's all about me. Where in his kingdom, it's all about the king, you it's know, and advancing and building up his name around the world. It's all about serving him. We were, we were born to make a decision, one decision. I mean, Jesus said, I, I come to serve. Absolutely. Not to be served. Exactly. So he, he set that example, friend. The king himself yeah. left his kingdom to come to this earth to be a servant mm -hmm. and set an example for us. And the Bible says to have the same attitude that Christ had. Yeah. You know? And he had a foot washing attitude. He had I a mean, foot washing attitude. He would wash the feet of his own followers. It's just, it's just a, a great act of humility. I mean, he was the greatest leader. You hear, read a lot about leadership principles yes. and things today. Jesus is still our greatest model. I want to encourage you, those of you that maybe you've missed a promotion, you were overlooked. Maybe you're feeling down right now. Maybe you've been crying out to God. I sense in my spirit I'm speaking to someone watching. Listen, that happened That happened to many other people before it happened to you. That's right. It's probably happened to Pastor Buford. Mm -hmm. I know it happened to me. But you know what? God always reminded me. He said, son, you could push yourself to the top and you'll get there. But once you get there, what would be the point? Yeah. <laughs> Unless I put you there, there's no point to being yeah. there. Yeah. So I want to encourage you, friends. Let God vindicate your situation. Let God be your promoter. Amen. Just give it over to Him and see what He will do for you. You know, Pastor, it took me 21 years to get to where I am today. 
Mm-hmm. I left my dad's business and went to Bible school. Yeah. Graduated then and worked at the Bible school, and that's how I met you. Mm-hmm. And since then, I've been waiting and waiting and waiting Mm -hmm. and and feeling a lack of fulfillment and feeling frustrated and and crying out to God. And it was like, God, are you there? Is this it for me? But all along, he was preparing me for this very thing. Absolutely. No question about it, Warden. I've I've watched you and seen you kind of from the distance all these years. And and, uh, there's just no doubt God has created you for such a time as this. And and the point I'm getting at to you, dear friend, is that God's got a plan and a purpose for your life. Yeah. He has the perfect plan. Here's Here's what we do. We say, Lord, would you bless our plans? (laughs) Instead of saying, Lord, will you show me your plan? That's already blessed. (laughs) (laughs) Man, that's it, brother. It's a mistake we make all the time. Yeah. I love that passage in Romans 12, too, where it talks about be not conformed to the image of this world, but be you transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you may prove what is that good and perfect will of God. There's a, the world has a, a pattern that is trying constantly, forcefully to fit us into. Mm. The devil has a plan for our lives in yes. the kingdom out here. Yes. But God has a bigger and better plan. And, and we, re, we need the word. We need the truth. You know, we don't need religion. and We don't need opinions. We need God's truth and the power of the Holy Spirit that renews our thinking. That, that we follow him and serve him. And it's like for you, you just kind of walk, it's like you walk out of, from the forest into the light and there it is, yeah. you know? And this is what God has been preparing and bringing me toward all these years. We didn't know at the time, mm. but we just sought to serve, uh, serve him and seek him. And it, it's you know, the, key. the, the has blessing the key, of the Lord overtakes us, you yeah. know, as we're focusing yeah. on him, you know? I, mean, I really think, friends, the, the point today is about servanthood. Mm-hmm. God's speaking to you to be a servant. You yes. want to be great? Become a servant. Amen. I had to do that. I, my first job in ministry was cleaning my boss's shoes. I had people that did that for me yeah. before <laughs> in my life. But all of a sudden, I found yeah. myself in ministry doing that. Yeah. And, and it wasn't that the Lord was punishing me. Right. He's preparing me. Right. He said, son, you can be great, but you have to be a servant. Yeah. And <laughs> there was something joyful about doing that. At yeah, the time. yeah, I don't remember that. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, let me tell you, we just got a couple of minutes. I was in a restaurant a while ago. It was a terrible uh, experience. My family were with me. The food took forever. It was wrong. Um, and the waiter kept coming to us, and the waiter kept saying how sorry he was. The waiter did an outstanding job of apologizing. And he explained to us that it was the chef's fault. It was the kitchen. They were Mm -hmm. changing things. They didn't know what they were doing. He's so sorry. And um, so when we finished, I was driving home. I said to my family, what did you think about that waiter? And they all said, oh, he was awesome. And I said to them, I would never hire that guy. And they were shocked. And they said, why? I said, because... He made the whole restaurant look bad Mm -hmm. for the expense of him Mm -hmm. looking good. He should never have been negative about the restaurant. He should have been apologizing on behalf of the restaurant. I'm so sorry. This is not our normal way. Mm -hmm. He was not a team player. He was a self-motivated man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. You know what? uh, As we start to wrap up, I'm sure there are those out there who have been hurt by church and even a pastor somewhere. And as a pastor... Uh, here with you today, uh, the Holy Spirit just prompts me to just repent and apologize on behalf of any pastor that you've been hurt by, because wow. that's not the heart of God. I'm sorry. Uh, and it doesn't mean that God is finished with pastors or his local church. Uh, it just means the devil is trying to detour you away from what God intends for your future, because God has check, uh, selected the church. and. Mm call the church to be what it is, not a pastor or a man. So continue to serve in your local church. Believe in your pastor and and pray for him and and, uh, and find that place that God wants you to be in. And until you do, God TV is a great place to hang out. It's never intended to take the place of a local church, and they never want that to be. But you need food. You need to be fed. And you need to hear about what God's doing and how much he loves you. And, how, and the great purpose that he has in, for each of you and all of your family in days ahead. So I just wanted to say that word on behalf of those Spirit who have been hurt. Uh, and they have, there are those who've been hurt. And there are those pastors who have done wrong. 
But we've all been hurt. Pastors. We've all been hurt. You've been hurt. You know, it's a part of the plan to get yeah. us to where God wants us to be. We can't stop. For the record, the sheep bite harder than the pastor. That's exactly right. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right, brother. Oh, if you want some horror stories, let a pastor tell you about all <laughs> the bites truth. he's had from, from that, his sheep. That's the truth. That's the truth. That's the truth. Well, listen, I really appreciate you being with me today. And I want to encourage you to, to uh, tune in every week to Today with Ward. For over the next few weeks, you're going to really meet some wonderful people from from our own different spectrums of life yes. that God's using. Amen. And today, God's saying He wants to use you. That's right. He's preparing you. All these uh, hurts and problems that you're going through, look, it's the devil trying to uh, get you to give up. That's exactly right. He's throwing the towel. You know, uh, Pastor, I was griping to God the other day, and he said, son, if you want to take a cruise, go down to Miami. <laughs> But you're not on a cruise ship. This yeah. is a battleship. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Friends, we're in a battle together. <laughs> That's it. Well, Pastor Buford, he just apologized to you on behalf of pastors. And I, I know there's some deep hurts there. And maybe his apology didn't do it for you. But you know what? God has a plan yes. for your life. That's right. Do not let the enemy steal it from you. You know, Satan can never stop a blessing of God in your life, but he can spoil it. Mm-hmm. But he can never stop it. So we want to encourage you today, friends. And uh, before we close, we're going to have a minute to wrap up. I just want to um, introduce you to a new uh, program we have on our um, God TV website. It's uh, called the Israel Insider. Take a look at this, and we'll be right back to close this program out. Israel is mentioned in the Bible over 2,000 times, and its importance is vital in knowing where we fall on the biblical timeline. God asks us to pray for the peace of Jerusalem, promising that those who bless Israel will in turn be blessed. Go to join.theisraelinsider.com to get breaking news on Israel daily. At God TV, we're passionate about Israel and want you to stay informed, knowing what to pray during challenging times. What's happening in Israel? Get breaking news daily. Pastor Buford, thanks again for being here. We've got 20 seconds to wrap the show up. Final thoughts? Yeah. Well, it's been awesome to be here with you, Ward, and just to hear and see what God's doing through God TV around the world today and through you guys and the awesome team here. I'm excited what God has ahead. And uh, again, we just uh, want to thank you for tuning in, being a part of the show today. Yep. So thank you, friends. Until next week, remember, as usual, go tell somebody about Jesus. God bless you. Thank you for watching Today with Ward. Please join us again next time. In the meantime, we'd love to hear from you. Please email today at God.tv. Also, please consider becoming a God TV partner. For more information, visit God.tv.